So you're sure I'm cured? No more feelings for my ex-wife? I'm positive. You'll be shocked to know how much of what's happening today has already been foretold. It looks like the Simpsons have already predicted the most significant events of 2024. From unexpected political shifts to mind-boggling technological breakthroughs, today, we're diving into the most terrifying Simpsons predictions for 2024 that have come true. First ever female presidency. The United States of America has never seen a female president, but America is a different place in The Simpsons. In the episode, Bart to the Future, Lisa steps up as the first female president of the United States, replacing the former president, Donald Trump. Today, with election season upon us, it's hard not to think about the possibility of seeing a woman finally take the highest office in the land. Many women have tried to make it to the Oval Office, but none have succeeded yet. Take Victoria Woodhull, who was the trailblazer, the first woman to run for president back in 1872. Woodhull didn't win, but her bold move opened doors for future generations of women leaders. Then there was Margaret Chase Smith. Despite her historic run, she didn't make it past the primaries, securing a notable second place in Illinois with 25% of the vote. Following her was Charlene Mitchell and so on, but no presidents. Fast forward to January 20th, 2021, a day forever marked in history as Kamala Harris was sworn in as Vice President of the United States, the first woman and the first African American to hold this position. But what if we could take it further? Imagine America electing its first female president in 2024. It seems like a dream, but the creators of The Simpsons have portrayed it as a plausible future. Could 2024 be the year that America crowns its first female president? If The Simpsons are right again, like they always seem to be, then Kamala Harris has to be America's first female president this year in 2024. The Simpsons did predict Donald Trump after all it would become one of the most memorable moments in history, to say the least. Government tapped smartphones. No, Lisa, it's not like the government is listening to everybody's conversation. In 2007's The Simpsons movie, the family is on the run, and Marge tells Lisa whilst they're on a train. I don't know if you guys should be talking so loud. No, Lisa. It's not like the government is listening to everybody's conversation. Immediately, the scene cuts to the NSA, where endless rows of agents are shown monitoring all of America's conversations. We should just lay low till we get to Seattle. Including the one between Lisa and Marge. Hey everybody, I found one! The government actually found someone we're looking for! At that time, this just sounded like a conspiracy theory. Uh, when you see everything, you see them on a more frequent basis. And you recognize that some of these things are actually abuses. Fast forward to 2013, Former CIA employee Edward Snowden blew the whistle on the NSA's extensive surveillance programs in real life. Snowden's leaks revealed that the NSA's global surveillance efforts were far more invasive than previously known. It turned out that the U.S. government had been secretly collecting records of Americans' international phone calls nearly a decade. This program laid the groundwork for the expansive NSA surveillance that followed. For over two decades, the Justice Department and the Drug Enforcement Administration collected logs of nearly all phone calls from the U.S. to up to 116 countries linked to drug trafficking, according to current and former officials. The targeted countries varied over time but often included Canada, Mexico, and most of Central and South America. But that's not all. Phones also monitor your behavior to market specific products to you. Take Instagram, for instance. The largest social media platform today tracks your location and preferences, sharing this information with third parties for targeted advertising. While some might find this helpful, many see it as annoying and invasive. Instagram also uses your data to curate a feed designed to be as addictive as possible. Grease bailing on IMF. In the 2012 episode Politically Inept with Homer Simpson, Homer appears as a guest pundit on a cable news show. The ticker at the bottom of the screen humorously reads, Europe puts Greece on eBay. What you might not know is that this was a subtle nod to an extreme political situation. Greece, which had already received bailout loans in 2010 and 2012, faced financial turmoil again in 2015. 
the country defaulted on a third bailout loan from the International Monetary Fund, making it the first more economically developed nation unable to make an IMF payment. This led to significant stock market drops and heightened fears of Greece potentially exiting the Eurozone. However, it looks like Greece is finally saying goodbye to its horrid days of being in debt. Over the past decade, the recovery has been nothing short of impressive. Greece's public debt has been steadily decreasing, with its debt-to-GDP ratio expected to drop to 160.7% this year, a significant decline of 46 percentage points from the peak in 2020. With the Simpsons prediction, could it be true that this upward streak will not last long? Underwater disaster. Oh, which way did Mason go? That must be him over there. In the 2006 episode Homer's Paternity Coot, Homer discovers his biological father, Mason Fairbanks, who tells him about a legendary lost emerald treasure in the wreckage of the ship Piso Mojado. During their submarine search, Homer gets separated from Mason, becomes trapped in a barrier reef, and loses oxygen in the underwater vehicle. The episode warns us what's going to happen if human beings try to explore the depths of the Earth they're not ready to experience. <laughs> Last year, this terrifying prediction came true. Five elite tourists boarded Ocean Gate's Titan submarine to explore the Titanic wreckage in the Atlantic Ocean. Within the first two hours, the submarine's communications failed, and it tragically imploded during descent leading to the instant passing of all aboard. The machine was not ready to take on the pressure of the depths it was sent to. Interestingly, one of the Simpsons writers revealed to a reporter that he had dived with Ocean Gate three times and noted, every time, communication was an issue. How has it been so many years and yet there's no improvement? Rejecting Green Energy. In the episode, Who Shot Mr. Burns Part One from season six, which aired on May 21, 1995, Mr. Burns hatches a plan to block out the sun with a giant device, sparking outrage in Springfield. His scheme is a blatant attempt to monopolize the town's energy supply. <laughs> While the episode plays this for laughs, it touches on a serious issue, the suppression of renewable energy. The sun, Springfield. Mr. Burns' antics highlight the real-world concern about powerful corporations potentially hindering renewable energy initiatives to maintain control over the market. This exaggerated storyline echoes instances where renewable energy projects have faced opposition or setbacks due to vested interests in traditional energy sources. Apple Vision Pro In early 2024, the show made headlines again with the release of Apple's innovative product, the Apple Vision Pro. After much anticipation, the Vision Pro was finally unveiled to the public on February 2nd, 2024. This virtual reality headset, offering a variety of hyper-realistic VR experiences, quickly became the latest buzz. But is this truly the first time we've seen this product? Maybe not. The Simpsons might have hinted at it long before its official debut. In 2016, the Simpsons aired an episode titled Friends and Family. In this episode, Mr. Burns hires Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie to be his virtual reality family, using a headset that looks remarkably similar to the Vision Pro. Once the product was released to the public, Springfield descended into chaos. Everyone became hooked on the new technology, leading to accidents like falling into manholes and walking into lampposts. The show's foresight in predicting such a product six years before its announcement is uncanny. Was it sheer luck or something more mysterious? When news of the Vision Pro's release hit the internet, a user on X quickly pointed out the Simpsons' earlier prediction. After running for over 30 years, the show has certainly gotten a few predictions right along the way. The Beatles fan service. If you'll forgive an old brick his impertinence, your devotion to your fans is nothing short of remarkable. In 2024, something eerily reminiscent of an old Simpsons episode unfolded. In the season two episode, Brush with Greatness, Bart discovers Marge's old paintings of Ringo Starr in the attic. Years earlier, Marge had sent Ringo a portrait, but never got a reply. 
Lisa encourages Marge to join a painting class, where she excels and wins an art show. She's then asked to paint Mr. Burns, who, true to character, insults the entire family during a visit. Marge becomes so frustrated that she's ready to quit the project. Just then, she receives a letter from Ringo Starr, praising her portrait from years ago. P.S. Forgive the lateness of my reply. No! This rekindles her passion for art, and the episode ends on a high note. Now this might sound like something straight out of an animated sitcom, but a similar event happened in real life. It wasn't Ringo Starr, but another Beatle, Paul McCartney. In May 2024, Paul responded to a woman named Adrian from Brooklyn, who had proclaimed her love for him in a video interview 60 years earlier. Paul saw her video and replied through TikTok and Instagram, inviting her to a photo exhibition in New York. Before that, Paul had also replied to two men from Essex who had sent him a mixtape decades earlier. So, sometimes it just takes a while for celebrities to get back to you. Don't ever lose hope. Cypress Hill and LSO. Hello, bands. Who is playing with the London Symphony Orchestra? While many of The Simpsons' predictions featured on this channel lean towards the gloom and doom side, there are some that are just fun and cool. One such example involves the famous 1990s band Cypress Hill, known for hits like Dr. Green Thumb and Insane in the Membrane, performing with the prestigious London Symphony Orchestra. I didn't tell me about this, man. We gotta do, we gotta do something. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we think we did. In the 1996 episode, Homer Palooza, Homer hosts a music festival where Cypress Hill and the London Symphony Orchestra team up for an intriguing version of Insane in the Membrane. Uh, do you know Insane in the Brain? We mostly know classical. This prediction isn't a terrifying omen, but a delightful and unexpected musical collaboration. Some people, hi! Cypress Hill, I'm looking in your direction! Fast forward to July 2024, and it actually happened. For one night only, Cypress Hill joined the London Symphony Orchestra to perform hits from their 1993 album Black Sunday at the Royal Albert Hall. The hip-hop group credited The Simpsons for this incredible collaboration, saying, We salute The Simpsons because if they had not written that episode, we probably wouldn't be doing this. This event supports the idea that The Simpsons doesn't just predict the future, it creates it. 3. D-Printed Food We can do anything now that scientists have invented magic. In the episode Future Drama, Marge takes a picture of Bart and Lisa before prom and turns it into a 3D-printed cake. When it aired in 2005, this seemed like pure science fiction, but it's becoming a reality now. We just got a postcard from Maggie. She's really enjoying Alaska. While 3D printers aren't as common in homes as regular printers, you can still get one if you want. And yes, 3D printed food is a thing now. There's a company called Food Inc. that specializes in this technology. They've even opened a restaurant where all the food is 3D printed. It's not just the food either. They offer a unique gourmet experience where even the utensils and furniture are 3D printed. And while there's an episode where a black hole eats a lot of people and things, Let's hope that one stays in the realm of fiction. Ruthless Yankees Benching. Mattingly, get rid of those sideburns. What sideburns? You heard me, hippie. In the 1992 episode, Homer at the Bat, Yankees first baseman Don Mattingly, who voiced himself, is benched by the ruthless Mr. Burns for not adhering to his strict sideburns policy. <gasps> Mattingly! I thought I told you to trim those sideburns! Go home! Fine. Still like him better than Steinbrenner. The whole thing sounds too absurd to ever come true, right? Wrong. Six months before the episode aired, Yankees owner George Steinbrenner enforced a clean-cut policy and ordered the team's manager to bench any player who didn't comply, including Mattingly, for not trimming his hair. While it seemed like the episode was referencing this real-life incident, Mattingly actually recorded his role on The Simpsons a month before he was benched in real life, so it's actually pretty crazy how things played out. NFL Game Outcomes This team is fired up! We came here to play! All right! You lose. What? In the 1992 episode, Lisa the Greek, 
Homer takes advantage of Lisa's uncanny ability to predict NFL game outcomes. When Lisa finds out what he's been doing, she's so upset that she makes a conditional Super Bowl prediction. I bet my entire college fund on it. You got it. Mo, $23 on New York. Washington will win if she still loves her dad, but the Buffalo Bills will win if she doesn't. As it turns out, Washington wins. Start spreading the news. It's New York over Philadelphia, 35 to 10. Yeah! A few days after the episode aired, Washington defeated Buffalo in Super Bowl 26. The following year, Fox re-aired the episode just days before Super Bowl 27, updating the teams to the Dallas Cowboys and the Bills, with Dallas replacing Washington in Lisa's prediction. Dallas defeated Buffalo. The next year, when Dallas and Buffalo faced off again, the episode was tweaked for the rematch, and once again, Dallas won. Since then, the episode has been redubbed several times before the Super Bowl, and has been accurate most of the time. And in an extremely suspicious play, the Raiders win! Siegfried and Roy Tiger attack. In the 1993 episode Springfield, also known as How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love Legalized Gambling, two Springfield magicians, modeled after Siegfried and Roy, are attacked by a white Bengal tiger during their show. This episode marks the first appearance of Gunther and Ernst, the casino magicians who are attacked by their white tiger, Anastasia. A round of applause, please, for Anastasia! She loves show business! Did the producers know at this point that they were predicting something that would happen a whole nine years later? In 2003, Roy Horn of Siegfried and Roy was attacked by a white Bengal tiger during a performance, leaving him partially paralyzed and bringing their long-running act to a complete and final end. Futuristic Science Formula In the 1998 episode, The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer stands next to a chalkboard displaying a massive equation. The equation on the chalkboard was impressively close to predicting the mass of the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, discovered in 2012. Simon Singh, author of the 2013 book, The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets, noted, If you work it out, you get the mass of a Higgs boson that's only a bit larger than the nanomass of a Higgs boson actually is. This prediction was made 14 years before the actual discovery. Simpsons writer-producer David X. Cohen, who holds a physics degree from Harvard and a computer science degree from Berkeley, enlisted his friend David Sheminovich, an astrophysics professor at Columbia, to write the equation. This collaboration led to one of the show's most intriguing and scientifically accurate moments. COVID-19 In the 1993 episode Margin Chains, a germ-infested juice looseners package from Osaka, Japan, infects the citizens of Springfield, causing an outbreak of the Osaka flu. As the desperate townspeople demand a cure, a mob outside the hospital topples a truck they believe contains a placebo antidote, only to release crates of killer bees. <laughs> what the? In 2020, the world was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, an infectious disease caused by SARS-CoV-2, which originated in Wuhan, China. During this time, there were also multiple sightings of deadly Asian giant hornets in the US. This Simpsons episode resurfaced on social media, with some digital modifications, leading various media outlets to suggest that the series had predicted these events. However, episode writer Bill Oakley explained to The Hollywood Reporter that the Osaka flu storyline was actually inspired by the 1968 Hong Kong flu. Zombie Apocalypse. I'm here at Krusty Burger for the launch of the highly anticipated Burger Squared. Imagine if a simple burger could trigger the end of the world. In Don't Have a Cow Mankind, a segment from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror 24 episode, which aired on October 6, 2013, the show envisioned just that. 
Can you tell us about this fantastic new sandwich? I'm glad you asked, Kent. We start with... Springfield descends into chaos when Krusty Burger introduces a new menu item made from cows fed with other cows. First human to sample this delicious crime against nature. Mmm, with just a hint of... This unappetizing meal sparks a zombie outbreak, turning many residents into ravenous undead creatures. While we haven't seen a real-life zombie apocalypse, this prediction cleverly taps into societal fears about pandemics and food safety. It humorously portrays how unexpected events can spiral out of control, reflecting real-world concerns about disease spread and the consequences of industrial food production. Today, similar anxieties are mirrored in the virtual world. In the video game Project Zomboid, the fast food chain Spiffos is blamed for causing a zombie virus. The game's narrative hints at the meat being produced in a revolutionary way, much like the storyline in The Simpsons. Players in the game discuss Spiffos and its link to mad cow disease, which in this context is a code for the zombie virus. The Simpsons episode and Project Zomboid both underscore the potential dangers of industrial food production and the unintended consequences that can arise. Commercial space travel. Check. Ant farm. Check. Children's letters to God. Check. In a well-known Simpsons storyline, episode 15 of season 5, titled Deep Space Homer, NASA employees ask Barney to become an astronaut. Are we there yet? I'm thirsty. When Homer learns about this opportunity, he competes against Barney, but loses. However, due to an alcohol ban, Barney is disqualified, and Homer ends up taking his place. In real life, the United Kingdom ran a similar competition in 2013 to turn an everyday person into an astronaut. This involved a series of interviews and challenging tests at Cape Canaveral. The winner, Oliver Knight, a 25-year-old, beat over 250 other candidates and got the chance to go to space with 23 others. It seems NASA might have taken some inspiration from the Simpsons, deciding to avoid bringing potato chips or ants on the shuttle, ensuring a smooth and safe journey. Since 2012, SpaceX has been delivering cargo to and from the International Space Station. In 2020, they started transporting astronauts to the orbiting lab as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Soon, SpaceX plans to offer commercial space travel as well. Meanwhile, Virginia-based company Space Adventures has partnered with Russia to use the Soyuz spacecraft, allowing ultra-wealthy individuals to visit the International Space Station. Music Mind Control Bart's band is brainwashing kids with subliminal messages? In the episode New Kids on the Bletch from Season 12, which aired on February 25, 2001, The Simpsons humorously predicted music being used for mind control. The episode features Bart and his friends forming a boy band called Party Posse. They use a secret voice-enhancing software they steal from NASA to improve their singing. However, the software contains a hidden message that promotes joining the Navy when played backward. While the episode played this concept for laughs, it also raised questions about the potential for music to influence people's behavior. This prediction gained attention due to the historical use of entertainment for propaganda. Though there isn't concrete evidence of music being used for mind control, the idea that media can influence public opinion or behavior remains a significant topic of discussion. Disney buying Fox. Hello, old lady from Titanic? You stink! (laughs) In season 10, the episode When You Dish Upon a Star which aired on November 8, 1998, The Simpsons made a spot-on prediction about Disney acquiring 20th Century Fox. In the episode, Homer becomes a gossip columnist and befriends Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger, who are shown living in lavish mansions. While driving to their house, a sign in the background humorously depicts 20th Century Fox as a division of Walt Disney's company. This seemingly insignificant joke turned out to be a prediction, In December 2017, Disney announced its acquisition of 20th Century Fox and other holdings of 21st Century Fox. Many celebrity, living or dead. Woohoo! Well, I'll always have my crank calls. The merger combined two entertainment giants, including Fox's movie and TV studios and cable networks, 
creating a powerhouse with 46 million subscribers worldwide. The deal, valued at about $71 billion, was finalized two years later, bringing together extensive content libraries and giving Disney control over Fox's vast catalog, including The Simpsons itself. Human cloning. Come on, Asia. Join your family. In the episode Lisa the Simpson from season 9, which aired on March 8, 1998, the Simpsons humorously touched on the topic of human cloning. In the episode, Lisa discovers that all the women in her family have a genetic predisposition for diminished intelligence as they age. In a flash forward to Lisa's future, she is relieved to learn that she inherited her father Homer's lack of intelligence, thus breaking the cycle. This prediction was a playful jab at the character's quirks, but also hinted at the concept of genetic cloning. Fast forward to today, advancements in biotechnology have brought us closer to the possibility of human cloning, though ethical and scientific debates continue to surround the topic. For the first time, researchers have successfully cloned a human embryo and extracted stem cells, which are the body's building blocks. Stem cells hold significant promise for treating diseases like diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and spinal cord injuries. This breakthrough is different from embryo splitting, a process that occurs naturally in a woman's body to create identical twins and is also replicated in labs, primarily for cattle. Real cloning involves a process called nuclear transfer, which allows for the copying of an existing individual. This capability is the source of much of the controversy surrounding cloning. Anything for homers! Dad, is there something you'd like to tell us about this horde? Which of these predictions are you most afraid of coming true? Or do you think that all Simpsons predictions are just crazy coincidences?